The history of Bigfoot in North America is a mishmash of regional legends, some Native American and some not, that speak of a hairy, ape-like man of the woods with, as the name suggests, large feet. Rumors and anecdotes have been passed around since at least the 1800s. In 1958, the Humboldt Times ran a letter about the creature that sparked a lot of interest. They ran a follow-up piece and dropped the name Bigfoot, what the local loggers had called the creature that left mysterious footprints. Thus was born an enduring legend, but it's far from the only one. Wild men and ape men have existed in legends around the world for years. Here's a look at 10 of the most interesting. Number 10. Yeti of Nepal Far from his American forest cousin in the frosty reaches of the Himalayan mountain range is where the Yeti is said to call home. Also known as the Abominable Snowman, those who have witnessed it claim it's smarter than the average bear and will stay below the snow line to avoid leaving tracks. It has been reportedly seen throughout China, Russia, and Nepal. They say the Yeti is big, but not Bigfoot big. Height is often claimed to be around 6 feet tall, but it's also been clocked at a whopping 400 pounds making this grey or auburn-furred creature quite the husky lad. And he's old. Very, very old. Alexander the Great is said to have wanted to see a yeti. People have been searching for it as far back as 326 BC, making it one of the most enduring cryptids in history. The government of Nepal even issued hunting licenses back in the 1950s so people could spend about $500 to hunt and kill a yeti. You probably won't be surprised to learn that no one has ever succeeded. Word is that Heinrich Himmler had the Yeti investigated on behalf of the Nazi party in the hopes of discovering the creature that was the progenitor of the Aryan race. His scientists concluded that it was merely a bear. Number 9. Yowie of Australia As you might expect, Australians not only have their own Bigfoot, they gave it the coolest name of the bunch. The Yowie is also known as the Yahoo, Juga Binna, Jurawara, Tajangara, and a few others. According to Aboriginal legend, the Yowie was a creature that existed since the beginning, a hairy man-creature with large feet that leaves perplexing footprints. According to some sources, European settlers began claiming to see the mysterious man-beast roaming the outback before before they had actually learned of the Aboriginal tales of any such creature. The Aboriginal beliefs don't use the word Yowie or Yahoo, those are terms that came later, and the creatures in their mythology have powers far beyond those of any normal Bigfoot. The ability to put you to sleep, to fly, and even abduct people from the deep bush. They also don't believe this creature can be seen by people who aren't Aboriginal, so the thing the settlers claimed to have seen would definitely have been something else. Number 8. Orang Pendek of Malaysia In the jungles of Indonesia, the legendary Orang Pendek is said to live. But unlike his western cousin, Orang Pendek isn't exactly huge. The name means short person in English. Orangutan means forest man. But unlike the orangutan, the Orang Pendek is between two and a half feet tall and sports a mostly human face, suggesting that if it is a primate like the orangutan, it's a very unusual one. Orang Pendek walks on two legs and has been reported in sightings for over a hundred years. The description lends more credence to the tale than many other cryptid sightings, as it seems like maybe this one is just a rare primate species that has yet to be categorized, rather than some monstrous man-beast somehow hiding amongst us. Archaeological evidence from the area turns up the skeletal remains of a short human-like being that dated back around 50,000 years, lending credence to the idea that there may have been something in the area. Video and photographic evidence of the creature is as scary as it is for any of the worldly Bigfoot cousins, though there was a video in 2018 reportedly showing the tiny guy running from the woods. Is it legit? Well, you can decide for yourself. Answer. Probably not. <laughs> Number 7. Skunk Ape of Florida Bigfoot's range is fairly wide, with reports in California, Canada, Texas, Mexico, and parts in between. But if you head to Florida and surrounding areas, you'll find that Bigfoot is not the big man on campus. Rather, it's his cousin known as the Skunk Ape, Swamp Ape, or Stink Ape, among other names. The distinguishing feature between the Skunk Ape and Bigfoot is what you'd expect it to be based on the name. The Skunk Ape is said to have quite the robust stench. As with other such creatures, there is little empirical evidence to support its existence, but there have been many anecdotal sightings. Dave Seeley says he's been tracking
tracking it since he saw it as a child in 1974 and even has video footage from the year 2000. Not everyone is convinced it's anything but a man in a gorilla suit, though. Number 6. Almus of Mongolia Not too far afield of the Yeti stomping grounds, the Almus ranges from the Caucasus Mountains to Mongolia. Called the Wild Man of Mongolia, they're often likened to humans, but definitely not considered humans at all. They are described as average height between 5 and 6 feet tall, but weighing up to 500 pounds. They have thick fur and can appear in a range of colors and of faces that are human-like but not human. Often they meet what you might think of as the standard for Neanderthal faces, with a large forehead ridge and a wide flat nose. The Amos has a long history in Mongolia, and one of the first sightings recorded by someone from outside of the country comes from a Bavarian prisoner in the early 1400s. He claims to have seen two that were presented to the Khan as gifts. Russian explorer and geographer Nikolai Preshevalsky claimed to have seen one also in 1871. Word is, 19th century medical books list Almus meat as having medicinal properties. Legends persist to this day, but they are often in Western Mongolia alone, while the East has little to say on the matter. Number 5. Mande Burung of India Unlike giant apes with the faces of men, the Indian Mande Burung is described as a giant man with the face of an ape. People claim to have seen it in northeast India, in the Meghalaya forest, and it is often much larger than its North American cousin. Stories tell of the Mande Burung standing over 10 feet tall and weighing over 600 pounds. In 2008, some amateur hunters claimed to have found hair samples in a Mande Burung nest that they gave to a primatologist, Ian Redmond, for DNA analysis. The first round of testing proved inconclusive, but Redmond claimed the hairs to the eye looked like they could have come from a human, an orangutan, or even something like the hairs Sir Edmund Hillary claimed to have found on his hunt for the Yeti on Everest back in 1953. Of course, Hillary's hairs turned out to be antelope, so there's no way to know for sure what the Mande Burung hairs might have been. Redmond, world-renowned in his field, was open-minded about what the hairs could have been, while not necessarily claiming it was an ape man. As he pointed out, a new species of macaque had been discovered five years prior to the Mande Burung sample, so it could have been something wholly natural and normal, albeit rare. Number 4. Barmanau of Afghanistan Those who travel the mountains of northern Pakistan and Afghanistan have claimed to see the creature known as the Barmanau roaming the area. The cryptid leans more towards human than ape and is said to have a fondness for human women, going as far as to abduct and assault them. Like the skunk ape of Florida, this beast is also said to produce an offensive odor, but unlike every other cryptid listed so far, it is also said to wear clothing. Not finely tailored suits by any means, but it has been seen draped in the skins of animals, according to some witnesses. Spanish zoologist Georgie Magrana mounted a bit of an expedition to discover the truth of the creature for several years in the late 80s and early 90s. Sadly, after dedicating years of research to the topic, Magrana was murdered in Afghanistan in 2002 and the crime was never solved. He had apparently collected dozens of first-hand accounts of the creature and compiled them, but never got a chance to publish his work. Number 3. Yeren of China There is a place in China called Shenonjia, known for having mountains and dense forest. It is the home of the Yeren, the wild man of China, a tall, reddish-brown furred creature that moves faster than a human and is extremely elusive. While some stories of these creatures are decades old and others hundreds of years old, the Yeren may be the oldest ape-like cryptid on record. Stories of this creature are over 2,000 years old. In fact, the Yeren may be the oldest cryptid in the world that's still talked about. In the last century alone, there have been 400 sightings. A spike in sightings in the 1970s prompted the government to get involved and back a search for the beast that predictably turns up nothing. Still, adherents believe the creature is real. Some, like Chen Liangshan, who is described as a high-ranking government official, have dedicated years to the hunt. No physical evidence exists beyond the odd stray hair, but sightings continue fairly regularly. Number 2. Fork Monster of Arkansas Another regional beast, the Fork Monster, is a little darker and more frightening than some of the creatures elsewhere in the world. It is described as being between 7 and 10 feet in height, with blood-red eyes the size of silver dollars, claws, and a terrible stench. The creature rose to prominence after it allegedly attacked someone in the 1970s. That attack became the basis for the somewhat famous movie The Legend of Boggy Creek, which is a semi-documentary horror movie about the event. If you're a fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000, you may have seen the episode featuring that movie's sequel, Boggy Creek 2, and the legend continues. The low-budget movie was extremely influential and is arguably one of the main influences on movies like The Blair Witch Project. The creature is said to be carnivorous and capable of carrying off animals as big as 200-pound pigs with ease. 
1971, Bobby Ford claimed the creature attacked him and broke free. It pursued him at his home, where friends and his wife caught glimpses of it. They shot at the creature, but no sign of blood was ever found. However, police found tracks and claw marks. It caused such an uproar that the story was reported in the local paper, and this, in turn, inspired the movie that followed. In later years, the mayor of the town would point out that he thought the fork monster tracks were man-made and every single report of the creature was anecdotal without a shred of verifiable evidence. What a surprise. Number 1. Bukit Timar Monkey Man of Singapore Singapore's Bukit Timar Monkey Man dates back to 1805, when a Malay elder gave an account of seeing the creature, which looked like a monkey but walked upright like a man. Japanese soldiers in the Second World War also claimed to have caught glimpses of the ape-man creature. Unlike the North American Bigfoot and the other cousins around the world, reports of the Monkey Man claim the creature has its own language, albeit one that is indecipherable and spoken at rapid speed. The region it's named for, Bukit Timar is relatively small, which is one of the reasons the story is such a standout. In such a small area, it seems unlikely anything could be hidden there, especially so close to metropolitan Singapore, but the stories have endured. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do smash that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you'd like more from me, why not check out another channel I do called Mega Projects? It's all about mega projects. I'm going to link to it below. Thank you for watching.